Okay guys, I'm about to tell you guys about patience when it comes to elitothyticism. I just barely woke up, it's 5 in the morning right now, and I really want to share this with you guys, because this is something that is extremely important when it comes to elite fitness, reaching your health and fitness goals. So, I want to give you an analogy. This is like God got a giant piece of gold, a gold bar, thick, and just placed it in front of you on a table and said, this is yours. You can have this, but don't even touch it for another five years. You touch it, I'll take it away. That's exactly what patience is when it comes to fitness because you could work out too hard and then get injured. You could um, try eating less and less and less but then you're gonna start binging. You need, to, you need to eat at a healthy level. Maybe 100 calories less than what you should be eating so you lose weight long term. You just start Going in these crazy starvation diets, a thousand calories less, like some people recommend, you're gonna see some serious trouble. You're gonna, your liver's gonna be affected. You're, you're just gonna go through crazy binges. You're gonna go up and down in weight. And um, also another reason, another thing I want to bring up, patients, is like you have to realize it's gonna be a five-year plan, a ten-year plan before you start reaching that elite level. Like I said, I've been doing martial arts competitively for eight years, and other people have been um, wrestling and doing sports for longer than that. And it's just a process. You don't tell yourself like, oh, I'm gonna do this for two years as hard as I can. Just say, I'm gonna go as hard as I can, as long as I can, one day at a time. One day at a time. Don't think about tomorrow. Don't think about a week from now. What can I do today? One day at a time. And if you're patient, that might be one small workout. That might be one 10 minute stretch. That might be getting on the grid roller for 15 minutes or that might be a two hour workout or a three hour workout or two two hour workouts in a day. Or that might be um, two hour weightlifting session or that might mean 30 minutes endurance exercise so patience is key because if you just blow yourself out and get exhausted that's not elite levels yeah if you're training for a competition yeah you're going to be pushing yourself to that level in competition but if you're not in competition take your time and when you are in competition realize you're peaking you're peaking you're peaking that's the competition. After the competition, let yourself drop. You want to be, um, I'll give a perfect example for those who know um, Ronda Rousey in martial arts. And this is a perfect example, perfect um, thing that you need to know when you're reaching elite status and re elite uh, performance in your life. There are peaks and valleys to your fitness. You're going to be going up you're gonna be going down. You're gonna be going up, you're gonna be going down, up and then down, sometimes even lower. But you have to realize that's just part of the game. But if you think you're just gonna go up, 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 up and continue to skyrocket all the way up, it doesn't work that way. You're gonna be in trouble. Look at Ronda Rousey. She went from one competition to a month or two months later. So I think the shortest time she was like month and a half, two months. <laughs> In the MMA world, that's pretty crazy. I mean, not even Conor McGregor. You just go straight to competition, to straight to competition. Give yourself a little break. Don't, when people say, oh, you're a champion. You take on any challenge. That's how you get knocked out. That's how you got your throne kicked off. Take your time. Have faith in yourself, and I mean, when you fall down, just say, hey, I lost a little bit of muscle. I've gained a little weight.
but it's not a big deal because I still have my elite fitness level. I didn't drop too much. I could still rebuild that in a couple days. And that's all it takes sometimes. So I hope you understand this on patience. Um, let me know what you think on the comment section. Let me know where you had patience. Were you patient enough to stay away from that junk food for a week or two? Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. I love you guys and God bless.